What's going on guys? It's Kyle here and this is going to be a very big video. I'm not going to edit any of this stuff out so if I have to put the camera down for some information I need to put in, I'm going to do that. This is a complete step-by-step -step instruction guide on how to set up your fire stick to its fullest potential, get all the APKs you need, and just basically jailbreak your fire sticks so you don't have to pay for anything or any Netflix or anything. You'll get it all for free. So when you first connect your um, your fire stick. This is going to be the this is going to be the beginning steps how to set it up. It says press home, so you just press home, right? And um, I remember this first time when I set up my fire stick. This took forever to set up, but once you finally get it, you just gotta press the home button for 10 seconds. Yeah, I remember this one took a really long time, so just kind of, kind of aim it at the. I think it's, you have to hold down there for a while. They say ten seconds, but for me it was like a long time. Yeah, this one definitely took me a while to get to uh, actually start up. I'm gonna try it for a minute. There we go. So it took kind of a long time, but once it kind of like, you guys are going, now you just press the play button, right? And now you're gonna have to choose your language. Now for me, I'm English, so I choose English, United States. It's going to, now it's going to set up your Wi-Fi network. So this is the part where I'm gonna have to put my phone down so you guys cannot see this part. Um, you just have to click your um, Wi-Fi, so mine is this. You can put in the password if you have one, which I'll put in right now. Obviously I'm gonna show this to you because you could probably hack me. <laughs> I don't wanna be hacked. Thank you very much. Go connect. It's gonna come connect to your uh, Connecting to your network. I'm gonna make sure everything's okay before I actually show you. It doesn't show me, it doesn't show me my IP address or something. So I'm just gonna wait for this to connect. It says connection successful. And that's going to check for updates. So this is where you have to register register your Amazon account. So I already have an Amazon account, so I'm just gonna click register. And this is when you gotta put your Amazon ID, which I'll have to put you guys down again. Sorry about this. Um, so just put in your information for your Amazon account. If you don't have an Amazon account, you have to create one, and then you can sign in. So just do that real quick. Password in. Which I think I know why. I haven't signed in my Amazon account in a while. I just have it like um, signed in automatically. That should be it. Alright, successfully registered. So let's see what it does now. Yeah, it has my full name. I don't want to show you that. So let's just click on. Yep. Is that save Wi-Fi passwords to Amazon? It says Wi-Fi passwords entered on this device will be saved to Amazon to help you connect your compatible devices. Just click to enable. Just you just click on yes. All right, I'll just pick this back up again so you guys can see. And now it says your Fire Stick is designed with kids and parents in mind. This is going to ask you if you want to enable your parental controls. You don't have to. You can always just say no. So I'll put no. Network speed. I'm just gonna, just in case, I don't remember. Oh yeah, this is just a, a little intro video to let you guys know how to use the Fire Stick and how it works. You can watch this. You don't really have to watch this. You can just skip ahead. It just shows what you can do with your Fire Stick. They don't tell you anything about APKs though. Now do they? No, they don't. So it says loading. So this, I think it goes to the home screen now. Oh yeah, this is uh, if you want to sign up for Prime. You don't need Prime though because you're gonna APKs and those are for free. So click on no thanks. 
if you can, if you can, uh, you know, if you want Prime, you can do that. Like I said, I'm not editing any of this out, so it's all unedited. Um, so select all the apps you want, they're all free to download. Some apps may require payment for full access, but then no thanks. You can do that when you get an actual thing. Wow, I'm really bright. Alright, so now you're on your Fire Stick home screen. Now there's a couple things you need to do before you start jailbreaking your Fire Stick. So first things first, you want to go over to the far right, over to settings. Alright, this is the big, this is the big one guys, you always have to do this. Go to, uh, device, developer options, and click on ADB debugging, and make sure that is on. And also turn on apps from unknown sources. So you click on that, turn it on. Once those are both on, now it's time to start jailbreaking your Fire Stick. Alright, so, you can go through any of these if you want and change a couple things. You don't have to, you can always, you're always obligated to. And... Now what we're going to do is start jailbreaking your Fire Stick. So let's go to the far left here, click on search, and we're going to type in D R O I, and this is the one you want. It's called Droid Admin. You click on Droid Admin, and this is the one you want. It's called Droid Admin. You just click on it, and then you're going to see a little cloud icon, because that means I already had it, so when I restarted it, and then it saved it to your Amazon account. Click on download, it says you own it, so you're good. And it says you got an app. This is the first time it does it when you get an app. It says you got an app, just click and got it. And now it's going to download. This one takes a little bit of time, so just wait for this to download. So, a uh, little quick backstory to this video. I wanted to do this for a very long time, but I have a good knowledge of the Fire Stick now, so I wanted to make this video now because I know what I'm doing. And I don't want to sound like a bubbling idiot when I'm trying to explain this, but I know pretty much everything about the fire stick now so I just wanted to get this all out there for people that are new to the fire stick let's say you just got your fire stick you don't know what the hell you're doing you just look up how to set up the fire stick that's all I'll, I'll name the video kind of something around there I'll put the tag to um, something around there and um, and then you find my video and I'll explain everything for you so we're gonna open I mean the first start the first startup of this is very simple and very easy so I mean there really is no point in watching the beginning of this video but this is the startup you're gonna want to need so once you open up this app called Droid Admin, you're going to see this little flashing thing right here. You have to click on the middle button of your Fire Stick remote, and you're going to see your code, and it's going to be blank. So the code you're going to want to enter is a code of a YouTuber, fellow YouTuber that I talk to sometimes. His name is Tech Doctor UK. Um, he makes the he just has um, I should I should explain the store. What Droid Admin is is it's an app where people can upload their APKs or any file they want and it turns into an APK file onto this virtual store kind of and it allows you to download EP, uh, it allows you to download these APKs and that is why people use it it's so simple it's always one click it's not like going to downloader and typing a whole address in it's very quick and easy so that's why I like to use droid admin better and that's why a lot of people these days are using droid admin more because it's just plain it's just plainly just better so the code you're going to want to put in is 385 Two five four eight eight. You want to make sure you put in the right code, and then you're gonna to want to see and make sure you have the right screen because you might put in the wrong code. You never know. So that's the one right there. You want that code. Click on next, and then you're not gonna see anything yet. But just to make sure, if this continue box is lit up a little bit grayer than before, that means you're hovered over it. You click the middle button. It says getting a few uh, things ready. And this is it. This is all you have to do, guys. This is the only place you need to go to get your all your apps, all your APKs to set up your Fire Stick. I will not be showing you guys how to get Cody because Cody is dead. I don't like Cody. So, um, it says polite request from Tech Doctor UK. This APK store takes a lot of time to manage. Kindly ensure you do subscribe to my channel if you use it. So I'd make sure you, I would uh, make sure you guys go to his channel, subscribe to him, and um, he makes great content. Honestly, I love him to death. Click on dismiss. And you're gonna see a lot of things here. So since so this is this is already I'm gonna freaking forget a lot of apps because I have a, I had a lot of apps installed, but so the first thing you wanna download is MX Player Pro. You just click on that one time, and you're gonna see this blue bar across this bottom of this little box here go across. Once it gets all the way to the far left, or well for your in my case, for all the way to the right, um, that means it's downloaded and I'll show you guys what to do next. You can actually go down and keep clicking anyone you want and you can download at the same time. I'm gonna do that right now actually, so as MX Player Pro is downloading, you want it to download Showbox version ver, version 4.94, Mo, 
mouse toggle. Um, let's look for the other ones. Uh, no Cody. I don't think you need to set orientation. You might. I don't know. Um, let's see. Terrarium. This is the big one, guys. Terrarium version 1.9.5 fixed S player issue. Um, you're not gonna know that. If you just got to the fire stick and you don't know, you don't even know anything what's going on, you're not gonna understand what that means. But this is the one you want right here. You click on it. Once again, it's gonna start downloading. Keep going down more. Mega Box HD Lite. Perfect APK for smaller devices like the Fire Stick. Keep going down here. Uh, Morpheus TV is another one. So you're pretty much set up straight here. Um, actually, there's one other place you need to go to to get uh, two other APKs that I think are fantastic. And um, by the way, I will leave a playlist down below to all the videos I made about these um, videos. You know what? Why not? I'll do. I'll do this. I'll do. I'll do the whole thing. It's like I told you, it's gonna be a big video. So um, no editing at all. So, so that one's downloading. Let's see. A Mega Box HD Lite is done. Uh, yes Player is uh, getting on there too. Let's see here. Mouse Toggle should be done. That's a very small APK. MX Player. So we click on MX Player Pro again. It'll pop up right here, and you want to go all the way down until you hover over Cancel, and then go over to the right and click on Install. So when you first download your, when you first get your Fire Stick, it's a little finicky at times. You don't know what you're doing. It's kind of hard to navigate. It took me about a month to figure out everything about the Fire Stick and how to use it. And I'm still today. I'm still learning things, but I know the gist of it. I know the big gist of it. When you first get your Fire Stick, what you do to set up everything. So let's go ahead and click on Done, and then you can see Mouse Toggle is also done. So let's click on that. Let's click on the Install button once again, and then it's going to start installing for you right there. That one was very quick and simple. It was kind of done. Let's see what else is done here. Uh, Terrarium is done. So click on that. Go to the bottom. Click on install. I love how simple it is because it used to be very long and tedious to install everything on the Fire Stick. I like how it's all in one store. You can do it one click. It's fantastic. I actually think it's the best thing ever. The Fire Stick is so much easier to um, set up than any Android box I've ever seen, honestly. So you can see right there, Terrarium TV is installing, and I'll go through all these APKs and show you guys what to do. So it's right there, Showbox, got done downloaded, so now we can click on that and actually install it. So Terrarium TV is almost done installing here. It does take a little while for these ones, because these are big APKs, guys. Just go wait for this to install. And um, yeah, the, the, pro the installing process does take a little bit of time, and that's because these are bigger APKs. So, all right, it's done, click on done. Let me click on the next one down, which is Megabox HD Lite. Uh, this is a very simple APK for movies and TV shows. It's very quick, it's very simple, and it's very fast as well. Well, that's the same thing as quick, but you know. So, Megabox HD Lite is done downloading now, so let me click on Done, or Installing, I should say. Go down until you find Morpheus. That one's also done. Click on Install, um, and there you go. There's only, there's only two more I want to show you guys, and that is in a separate store, which is a very simple code. It's just two, until you can't put two anymore. I like how that guy makes it a very simple code. Tech Doctor, why are you going to make it so long? I'm kidding. I love you, Tech Doctor. But, um, yeah. Just wait for this to install. Like I said, it does take a little bit of time for these ones, because they're a little bit bigger. And they, have more, they have more to process. Alright, app installed. So now, it is time to go back. Go back, click on yes, and now we're going to enter a new code, so you go above it and click on the uh, enter code section again. And a quick way to delete something on a keyboard on the Fire Stick is you press the uh, rewind button, which is this button right here. That is the rewind button. You click on that and it actually goes back for you, so that's a pretty quick hint. So this one you have to click, just click on two a bunch of times until you cannot put two anymore. Once you keep clicking two and there's no more twos popping up, you get the code. Go to the bottom. Click on next, continue. This is a separate, this is another YouTuber um, store, which is uh, New Tech Revolution, or New Tech TV, I forgot what his name is. Um, but yeah, that is a very good, he's a very good YouTuber as well. I don't really talk to him as much as TUK, but he's also a really cool YouTuber, and I really enjoy watching his content. So, this guy has tons of APKs. Um, some of them you never even heard of, so he's got a really big selection. But the one we're looking for, guys, is, let's look for it here. Yeah, he's a lot of them. You can check out all these one if you want. You can guys check, you guys can check out all these if you want. 
I'm just gonna choose the ones that I have. So here it is. Newest movies HD. That's the one I want. Very quickly uh, installed. And let's look for the other one. Not sure where I got that one in the HD movies from. From. Um. I'm trying to remember where I got the HD movies one, but that's, you know, the newest HD movies is good too. Uh, let's just check out all these here. Oh, that's, there it is, HD movies right there, APK. Look on it, very fast install. It gets very fast servers, so that's why it does that. Click on it again, install. This one will install very quickly as well. So I'm waiting for this to install. I may mean, sound like a broken record, but I'm not editing any of this out. This is how long the process takes for you to set up your fire stick to its fullest potential. If I'm done, let me go to the top here and find uh, newest movies HD. That's the one. And install. Now, these two actually use the mouse toggle, which I told you to install the mouse toggle, because these APKs actually make you just sit the mouse toggle. Now, I'm giving you this big selection because maybe one APK is not working one day, so then you have to go to a different one. And I always find this one and Movies HD and also Megabox HD to always work. But if you're looking for the premium, best kind, I always go to Terrarium or Morpheus. Not done. And that one's done. So now we do is go back, click on yes. And this is the big part, guys. You need to go up, just if you click up until you hover over this, up again until you're over $10. Go, 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 go until you're hovering over the eye, over to the trash can, which has an X over it. Click on that, click on yes. What this does is it gets rid of the APK files, which actually take up space on your fire stick if you don't get rid of them. So once you click that trash can, it gets rid of all of the APK storage, all the files. So what you're left with is the actual app itself. So I think it's a great feature that Droid Admin has actually included. Put it back out of the app, just click the back button, and now you're out of it. Now you're at the, this part again. So to go home, of course you have to click home. That's very simple to know, but in case you're new, you know. So recently, so. Let me give you a, give you a X. So this first home screen is just going to show you your recent apps that you've opened, all your apps and games according to how you have an order. Uh, you have a sponsored little ad advertisement, Amazon channels, featured apps, rent or buy. This is from Amazon only. Prime movies, which you have to have a Prime membership to actually, or the Prime original series, which you have to actually have a Prime membership to access these shows. But if you get the APKs, you can actually find them on the APKs themselves, which is fantastic. Uh, Prime, This Week on TV, Renter Buy, Cinemax, so all these are uh, things that Amazon has for you, but uh, we don't want those, we want the APKs guys, so let's go to the app, your apps and games, and also a quick way to get your apps and games, which I don't know, a lot of people know, a lot of people should know, but if you're new to the fire stick, you won't know this, hold down the home button, you get this right here, and all you do is click on apps, and then opens up your app for you, so it's really cool that they uh, integrated that to the fire stick. So, these are all my cloud apps, you don't really need those. Here's the APKs that you're going to want, guys. There's Terrarium, there's Mouse Toggle, there's Megabox HD, Morpheus, uh, HD Movies. Um, not sure what the newest movies HD went, but that's okay. So, these are all three we want. So, I have them ordered like this. I go this, I do this, and then click Move, and I go up to the top, and just click it right there. And then I go back to down, and I have um, Morpheus TV second, because I think it's the second best APK. Right there, and I go down again, and we choose Megabox HD, move. And I go back down again, and I choose HD Movies. And I actually forgot to install the last uh, APK. My bad, guys. So we need to go back to the 385 number. So that was, I forgot what it was. Oh, I, 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 think, I think I know it now. It's uh, 385, 385, 8. So there we go, I know it now. It took me forever to, uh, to remember, but I finally remembered it. So I actually, I don't think I remember, I don't think I remember to actually install Showbox. Now I have to download it again, which kind of sucks. So, you know, sometimes you make mistakes, so you just gotta download, re-download it, so this one will actually take kind of a long time. So once you finally see that it is installed or downloaded, you should click on it, click the bottom here, and click install. I'm so freaking stupid for not installing this when I um, was in there to begin with, so. 
my fault. And I decided actually I'm not going to show you all the APKs, I'm just going to show you how to start it up. And then I'll leave a playlist to the apps to how, to, how to install them. And I mean, how do I, how do I, how to use them? God damn, it's fucking stupid. All right, it's done. Click on done. Once again, we go back. Yes. Delete. Means the trash can. Yes, and then we're good. So now that we have all the APKs installed, the first thing you do is you go to your mouse toggle app, which has like a like a recycling bin kind of symbol there. So should be at the bottom here. You, you only need to go in this app once. So click on that. And you're gonna see a couple things here. Just click on the enable the mouse service thing right there. It's gonna stop real quick, and then you can click on it again and then enable it. All right, enable it. It says starting. Once it says started, the APK is good. Or the, the mouse toggle is open. And you can, it's open to use again. So now I'm going to go back and just go back to that. Uh, let's go to show box here and move that up to, I think, the. I'm going to say fourth spot. Or no, third. I'll put third, actually. So these are, these, this is what you, your home screen should, this is what your apps and games should look like. Terrarium first, Morpheus TV. I should probably just put Droid Admin up there too, just in case, you know. So you can always just maintenance. There's a lot of maintenance involved in this you can do if you want. So here's Terrarium TV. You just click on it. And it should open up just like that. Give some time to um, actually process opening up. Click on OK. Click on MX player because that's is the best player you want to use and that's the player we did download in TDUK store Accept and now you're good. So now we go back And then check you out check out another one Morpheus TV This one's very simple. You really don't even need to uh, Do anything with this one. It's already updated everything. So that's how that looks check out the video on uh, when I did that one Megabox HD the most simple APK to use, in my opinion. You just open it up, and then it starts spewing out the movies right there. So if you want to watch a movie, just go ahead and choose one. Click on your computer. Um, videos. And it tends to be an MX Player installed. We click on the custom. MX Player Pro. Loads in MX Player Pro. Very cool. And then the next one is Showbox. This is the one you're gonna need a, a mouse toggle for. And to enable the mouse toggle, you double click the play button right here. So let's wait, wait for it. Wait for it to uh, open up, and then I can show you. So to open up your play button, your mouse toggle. Click on it two times, and that is the little mouse right there. And to move your mouse, you just see how it moves right, left. Right, right. Oh my God! It's because I'm mirrored. It's mirrored on my phone. So, right, left. You know, and you can move up and click on the hamburger menu. Anything you see with three lines is called the hamburger menu. So whenever you see a video that says hamburger menu, that is what it's called. Click on movies. You can choose a movie. Just click on Jumanji. You can pick your quality, which I think is a very nice feature, in my opinion. P. On this, you'll see is the automatic player, but we're gonna change that to other player, which will use um, an X player pro. Close. Watch now. And if you're to, to get rid of your mouse, you double click, but hold the second time you click it, and that gets rid of your mouse, and you can start using the remote functionalities again. So let's go ahead and wait for this. You can choose any video player. I'm gonna shoot MX Player Pro and just click always. So whenever I click on a movie, it'll always open up in MX Player Pro. It, it, I don't know why it does this. Just wait for that to open. And like I said, MX Player Pro opens up in that. And you can skip ahead. I can show you that it still plays. And right there, you can see that it's playing. And then the last APK, which I'm going to show you, is of course HD Movies. And this one's great because it's all one click and it works always. So, wait, wait for this. And you can see right here we can go to the latest movies and it gives us the latest movies here. Wanna watch one? You just click on one. And I 
that gives you this. Go to the top here, click on the play button. There it is, you click on it again. And it loads up. And it'll play your movie, so very simple, very easy. So that is the gist of it guys. Um, this is what you should watch when you first get your fire stick. This is what you do to set up your fire stick to its fullest potential. If you did enjoy, remember to always leave a like, subscribe, comment down below what you enjoyed, and um, if you have any questions at all, ask me down below in the comments because I'm always answering people's questions and always responding to comments, even if they're mean comments. Or if, if they're too mean, I'll just delete them because I'm that kind of person. So guys, have a fantastic day. And I love you guys, and peace out, guys.